Ah, fishing. The perfect spiritual experience. What could be better? Out in the great outdoors, away from the distractions of civilization, the ultimate getaway. Just you, the water, and if you time it right, a boatload of fish. Unless you forget to set your alarm. Don't let this happen to you. Grab Casio's new fishing gear watch, the WS1200H, with fishing timer and moon data. Only $26.95. Grab yours today. So this is Casio's fishing timer and moon data watch. I'll leave a link down in the description to module 3485, which is an interesting read. And here is the case on this watch. And wait a minute. What, what is this text on the top and bottom? Excuse me, please. I'll be right back. As I was saying, this is Casio's Fishing Timer and Moon Data Watch, which I think I just made marginally better by removing some of that extra text on the bezel. I'm not sure why Casio insists on plastering text all over their watches, but thanks to a little Goo Gone and some elbow grease, it's really not that big of an issue. So this watch was just released in March of 2020, and it's actually pretty cool. It uses the watch's current time date and home settings to calculate the moon phase indicator and the fishing level indicator, determining when it is best to cast your line and try to hook some fish. This is not a new concept for Casio. They first introduced their Fission Time FT100W back in 1989. That watch was running module 844 and was able to display the most suitable times for fishing by automatically calculating the moon movement. So the first thing to do here is to set up the watch. Hold down the A button when you're on the home screen to configure the date and time. Then press the A button again to set your UTC offset. So I am currently in the northeast region of the United States, so I am at UTC minus four. And then if you press C, the watch also asks for your longitude, which in my case is 71 degrees west. And this will help the watch to calculate the moon data and the tide data. So just press A to save that data in the watch. And then in the LCD itself, the top area will show you the fishing level indicator and the moon data indicator is also below that to the right. Right now the moon is in a waxing crescent, so the tides are low and the fish are just not around. Pressing C once will bring you into the fishing moon mode and you can swap between fishing mode and moon mode with the A button. So this is fishing mode right here, and then if you press A, you enter into moon mode. In fishing mode, you can cycle through each hour so that you can pick a time of the day that is right to go fishing. And like I said, today is just not the day to go fishing. Maybe at 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. you might get some bites, but it's really not the best time to be out there. You can go ahead and press the A button, which will bring you into mood mode. And at the bottom, you'll see that you have the year and the date. And then you can just use the D button to cycle through the days of the month until you find a day that has a full moon. And here's a good one on April 8th. The moon is almost 16 days old, which is basically a full moon. So then if you press A to go back, you can then cycle through the times of the day to find a good time to fish. And there you go, around noon on April 8th, you get a really good time with a whole lot of fish. And if you look closely, you can see the word fish right in the center of the dial there that lets you know it's a good time. And since we now know that April 8th is a good day to go fishing, you can then cycle through to alarm mode and set a date specific alarm to let you know exactly when to head out to the lake. So let's hop on over to alarm mode, hold down the adjust button, set the hour to noon. And then if you press the C button, you can see those lines at the very bottom of the screen that allows you to set the specific date. So here we'll set the month for April and then press C again and go ahead and set that for the eighth. 
And there you go. Now the watch is set to notify us at noon on April 8th so that we know exactly when to grab our rod, tackle, bait, and some crispy boys and head outside. So this watch definitely has kind of an interesting but busy dial. You'll see that there's an area right there on the LCD display that will light up a block for every minute. So right here, 101, you get a block over on the left-hand side. And this watch clocks in at about 44 millimeters wide. 48 millimeters lug to lug and about 13 millimeters thick which sounds kind of big but it actually wears pretty small on the wrist which I'll show you in a minute and the resin band here has 11 slots it's got a dual buckle and clasp which gives it more of a rugged look and you'll notice here that the resin band actually has those little wings on the inside to keep it wrapped around your wrist but this watch does lie flat, which is kind of nice, and it fits pretty nicely on the wrist as well. So all in all, this watch is pretty fun to wear, and it's super cheap. You can pick one up for like 27 bucks on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below and also one to eBay. And if you check out the LED light, it's actually pretty strong. It's got an amber LED light that does a decent job of lighting up the dial. And there's also an interesting stopwatch mode where the fish kind of swim out from the center of the dial. And then also over in timer mode, the fish will kind of swim in from the outer dial back into the center. And the watch also has dual time and hourly chime and is 100 meters water resistant. So let's go ahead and check this one out on the wrist. I'm going to remove my new G-Shock that I've been wearing a lot lately. I really love this one. So let's check out how this thing looks on my 6.75 inch wrist. Not too bad. As I said, it wears kind of small. This band has 11 holes. I'm on uh, hole number 8 out of 11. So it fits decently. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's cheap enough to be a decent beater watch. And it also comes in a couple different variants. There's purple and there's a gray version as well. So anyway, that is about it for Casio's WS1200H Fishing Timer and Moon Data Watch. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. We've got a lot of new viewers, so please click that subscribe button and we'll check you out during the next Casio Watch Review. Take care.